Now we got a celebration going on. Great pick, Pat. I know. Thank you very much. Well, I thought. Well, I, I wanted to go totally in the mood of, uh, you know, uh, it's not going to be a dull show when you check out the talent show uh, being put on to help benefit the Concord Coalition to end homelessness. We've got top-notch talents. It's going to be a celebration. It will be. It will be. Yeah. yeah. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, and you, you have the program in front of you. If I you, do. You, this is very, very exciting. If you look through exciting. those acts, and I've, I've seen all the acts, and uh, it's just going to be a great, great show. It, and, you know, I'm going to say, too, that, you know, it's, it's, this is a benefit for the Concord Coalition and Homelessness. And the Concord Coalition and Homelessness, the executive director, the chair, they had their own um, group that they put together. Oh, that's awesome. They thought they had a pass. They got cut. Whoa. They did not make it to the talent show. This is show. some serious, Hardcore. serious yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you, there was no in. There was no just like we've we've got the pass. No, no, no. Because no. you had to be a certain. You had to set a certain standard. Yeah. And the judges had a worksheet they had to work through, and uh, and some great acts didn't didn't make it, in, including. Uh, Carter that was on the show with 12 year old Oh, I remember Carter. I remember Carter. I was so excited for him. Exceptionally talented. Yep. You know, I felt really bad he didn't make it. You know, I was not one of the judges, so I couldn't I couldn't However, I did ask him to be a judge at the talent show. Oh, perfect. You know what? Yep. That is awesome. That is yep. fitting. Yep. That is good. And listen, at 12 years old, he has plenty of competition ahead of him. He's yes, he he's, he's got a plenty of opportunity He'll practice to share there his next talent. Year. Absolutely. Well, in the meantime, though, we have how many acts all together there are at ten, this show? Ten, ten, I, let, ten acts. Let, let's, let's go back to the beginning. When is this going on and where? October 5th. So we can That's continue not this to Saturday, repeat but that. the following. You know, we've Correct. been planning this event for well over a year. It has and, been. And, and now yep. it's now it's at hand. Mm -hmm. October 5th at the Bank of New Hampshire uh, stage in, uh, in downtown uh, Concord. Um, it uh, starts at 5.30. There's going to be a meet and greet, and you can uh, participate in buy a vote. You oh, can, nice. You can buy beads for heads and tails. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, heads and tails is a fun game. That's, oh, that's so much fun. A lot of people don't know what it is, so oh, I'll it's, explain it very quickly. Yeah. You, know, the, um, you buy beads, and then the MC will flip a coin. If it, and you First, you put your, your hands either on your, your, on your head, head or your backside. You'll be either be your betting heads or tails. Tails. Right. So on your head or on your tail. And uh, he flips a coin. If you, if you picked correctly... Um, then you get to stand. You, you move on to the next round. You otherwise, eat. you sit down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're and then it comes down to it. It's yep. so much fun. That uh, we have a wine pull, and we've had tons of uh, wine uh, at, at a value of fifteen or more donated. Oh, nice! And for fifteen dollar donation, you mm -hmm. get to um, uh, pick a, uh, a a bottle of wine. Oh man! So that's uh, that's an easy uh, way to uh, uh, participate and and uh, and donate. And again, bear in mind. This is for donations. This is really what this evening... Yes, we have an incredible evening of, of refreshment and entertainment for you, but it's really all about donating money. And good point. Refreshments. Um, O's Steak and Seafood is, I love those is guys. catering in yep. the Concord Food Co-op. Oh, great, great food selection, that's which includes uh, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free. So we yep. have all the food needs covered as well with some great foods from some great uh, uh, food establishments right beside that are they're right there uh, near the Bank of New Hampshire stage. Oh, that's so again a whole eve. This is a whole evening. Yeah, it's going to be a great, uh, great evening. Uh, um, and and so tickets are still available at the Bank of New Hampshire stage, and uh, also the Concord Food Co-op is selling uh, tickets right now. Right. We have uh, more expanded hours than Bank of New Hampshire, so. Easy way to get tickets is just go right down just to the stop by the co-op. Co okay, that's great. Right. That's awesome. All right, please introduce your guests, <laughs> and let's talk about what it is that we're doing here. All right. Um, I asked- Or uh, why it is we're doing. I asked uh, Ben uh, Folsom to uh, join us here today. Ben is the uh, vice chair of the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness, mm -hmm. and I wanted him to speak uh, about uh, the mission of the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness, um, you know, what we're trying to achieve, why we're doing this fundraising. Um, and, and Dr. Uh, Elliot Foley is here from the Concord Eye Center. Mm -hmm. um, the, we have approximately 40 sponsors um, for the talent show. Uh, the Concord Eye Center is sponsor number one. Uh, they immediately stepped up, and they are lead sponsor with $5,000 uh, sponsorship position. 
for a new event. Um, we just thought that was great. It, it got kicked the whole sponsorship mm -hmm. program off because people could see a major entity in Concord was supporting this. Um, and I wanted uh, Dr. Elliot Foley to come on the show today to, to talk a little bit about the Concord Eye Center. Um, but, but also, he recently toured the Resource Center, uh, and he toured our emergency winter shelter, and I wanted his feedback about what he saw so he could, you know, we have, you know, uh, Ben and I are both on the board of the coalition, but I wanted to, his impressions of, of what he saw and what he, about what he felt our mission was and what we were doing. Well, thanks for having me. Y'all, uh, please, great. thank it you for great. coming in, no, and thank you, for, thank you for caring about this, because this is really, we could end homelessness in Concord if we keep working hard. Well, our practice wanted to get behind something that supported our community, and mm -hmm. that's sort of what, what we're all about. We're coming up on the year 2020. That's an important uh, number for an ophthalmologist. Yes, and, it is. Yes, well, it is. It's the ideal year. It, I, <laughs> correct. It's so. the year of Concord Eye Center. <laughs> and, and while it's nice to get behind eye causes, we do that already mm -hmm. in, in a lot of different ways. So we wanted to do something that kind of made an impact in our community. So, right, but but outside of your the scope right, of what it is well, you well do. Outside yeah, outside the scope of what we do, for sure. We, we just want to show we care about the community. Absolutely. So that's what we're trying to do, a good community partner. That's awesome. Yeah. That's wonderful. And yeah. getting behind and getting behind a show because I think this is a wonderful and unique way uh, to raise some money, Ben. Th I mean, this is. I mean, yes, we can. Yeah, you can do different things, and you can have a radiothon, or you can do whatever you needed to raise money. This is a great fun way to not only raise money but awareness for the coalition. Absolutely. You know, our our mission uh, is to end homelessness in the greater Concord community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an ambitious mission, but I think more importantly, it's it's an, uh, an achievable mission. Uh, it's a challenge, but with our hard work, with the support of the community, the investment of the community, it's a goal that we think is is actually achievable. Wow. Um, and we know this because other communities have done it. There have been other communities around the country that uh, have achieved this goal, um, and not a lot. Uh, you know, but uh, my question is, why not Concord next? Why wouldn't yeah. you want to have that? Uh, why wouldn't you want to have your community achieve that and, and live in a community where everyone, uh, regardless of their circumstances, has a, a safe, decent, affordable, secure place to live? Right. And I, th I, I think that's very important. But I and I think that it's a good thing we're dealing with it at this time because we're, we're hearing stories out of Manchester that people are wandering into Manchester and the homeless population is going up there. So all the work that you're doing, um, even though the headlines are up here, you know that we're really kind of really working it hard here in Concord. We, ab we absolutely are. And uh, we've, we've been blessed with a community that's that's really supported us and and uh, we hope will continue to support us and support our mission. Um, you know, if I could, I'd just like to talk about a couple of the things that, that oh, we're doing. To, oh, to, 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 absolutely. <laughs> to, because again, to achieve this, is, this goal. we're here to help. We're here to help you. So, you know, our, our, our flagship program is, is called Housing First. It's mm -hmm. a Housing First program. And the idea behind that is that uh, the the way to solve homelessness and, and end homelessness in Concord is to get people housed first, mm -hmm. um, get them into a place where they're secure, mm -hmm. stable, and can address other issues they may have, whether it's substance abuse or mental health issues. Right, um, but again, it, but but housing first really allows you to be able to look at the other issues. Exactly, and through our housing first program, uh, we've already housed at least fourteen uh, people. Uh, who are experiencing homelessness um, into their own apartments, mm -hmm. uh, provide support for them through our caseworkers um, uh, to help them with their ongoing needs, appointments, mm -hmm. uh, finances, and so forth. Uh, and we're <clears throat> trying to take that to the next step here. We're, we, we're in the process of acquiring a property mm -hmm. uh, on Green Street. Yes. And, and, and the... You know what we didn't believe we didn't that the even uh, a year ago we didn't think that the the coalition would be involved in development. However, there right. is such a shortage of affordable housing. Sure. Period. It's very true. It's very true. And, and, right yeah. across the board. Yeah. Yes. And so then if you ask then if you ask a landlord, well, I know you've got them lined up at your door to rent your your place, but would you consider this individual that's experiencing homelessness? That's a very short list. Right. So it it the ability to find housing put us in the development stage where we're now having to look for where 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 can we take a more active role 
However, you know, quickly realizing it is not just the coalition that can, it, it has to be the entire community. Right. You know, and in the entire community, again, that's the Concord Eye Center stepping up as, as, as they have. That is great. But, you know, and in, in, in if people want to help, they can help at all different levels. They can help as a volunteer. Mm-hmm. They can, you know, you can do buy a vote right now for $5. And, and if you just say, I can't, I can't go to the show, um, I, you know, or I don't, you know, I, I, and I can't go, but I, you know, it was a $35 ticket donation. Yeah. I'll give you the 35 bucks yeah. because it's, it's really the community and the numbers of individuals in the community that say, you know, we support this. We want everyone to, in our community to have a home and that even, even their vote of $5 yeah. it says I'm in, I'm in with what you're trying to achieve. Yep. And every dollar does matter to the cause. Yeah, a- absolutely. Every dollar and every hour spent volunteering. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there are opportunities to volunteer at our resource center. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are opportunities to volunteer at the winter shelter, which, uh, you know, we we built uh, and opened in the past year mm-hmm. um, to provide a low barrier uh, shelter for, for those experiencing homelessness and kind of the most in the vulnerable, cold, yeah, most yeah, vulnerable the... time yep, um, yep, for yep. these individuals. Uh, so, you know... Uh, as Greg said, you know, buy a vote for five dollars, buying mm-hmm. a ticket for thirty-five dollars. Any any amount um, uh, helps, and any time uh, helps as well. And and it's and it's it's more than just addressing homelessness right on. It sounds like you guys are kind of life coaching a little bit too, because these the vulnerable people could be people that are just at a goofy place in their life and need to be put on the track. Yeah, absolutely, and and. The majority of people who who experience homelessness aren't aren't what we would call chronically homeless. The majority of right. people are are people who have had uh, some circumstance, um, you know, be it the loss of a job, uh, right. foreclosure of a home, something that leads them into a situation where they need a little boost, a little help um, uh, on a temporary basis. And that's mm-hmm. what that's what the coalition provides with its resource center, which. Uh, gives people a place to go to use the computer, look for jobs, mm-hmm. get mail, um, take showers, get a haircut. Get, uh, they, we have medical laundry providers done, who come like laundry yeah. services. So, Dr. So, Foley, you yeah. toured the emergency winter shelter and in the resource center. Last week. Your you. impressions? Impressive. Uh, the, the new winter shelter is right behind the resource center on, um, what's it, Main Street? Thing? Yeah, 238. And Main. Um, it has, what, 40 beds? 40 beds, correct. 40 beds. Uh, brand new. It. Um, can house a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like it has some flexibility so that you can um, separate men from women. If you have any nice. numbers of yeah. that, you can do that uh, uh, reasonably easily. Um, an impressive uh, thing in our community, for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, a nice thing that we were able to do for people in the winter, for sure. Yeah, and 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 and, and, and critical on those very because we uh, absolutely we got cold weather here. When did we introduce? We were introduced to the word vortex last year, <laughs> weren't we? All of a sudden, it's very cold for days in a row, um, and this becomes really necessary. But again, um, it'd be great to completely end homelessness here, but the services need to continue. Absolutely. So, our, as I said, our mission and our goal is to end homelessness. Mm-hmm. We do that through housing people, yeah. uh, through the Housing First program, through housing development, through uh, more access to affordable housing. But you need the safety net there. Yeah, you, you do. Um, and well, you got to have especially it in, place. in the winter um, yeah. when when people are are most vulnerable. So, so that's what we've been able to do, and and um, that's what we want to continue doing, and uh, uh, moving forward, really start focusing and expanding our ability to uh, take people who are experiencing homelessness and, and be able to match them with, with uh, safe, affordable places to live. Mm-hmm. Boy, that would, be the, that would be the ideal situation if we can and, all get that figured out. Yeah, and that's part of the process now that um, uh, the coalition is, uh, Ellen Grow, the executive d- director, is really taking a lead position in mm-hmm. the city to try to you know, get together the people that you know, really want to help with this, to sit at the table, and and work through how are you going to house these people? How is it going to ha- happen? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's a it's it's a big task, big task. But again, it's going to take the entire community. Um, 
And and but you know if you look at that the program for the the, the talent show, mm -hmm. um, you'll you'll see like the honorary chair Michael uh, Simchek. You know yeah. he's the 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 he um, owner of the Hotel Concord. Right. Um, they have been a great partner. Of They're the wonderful. Coalition. They're wonderful people. Um, even and O's uh, steak and seafood oh. again. They have you know we, Scott we, and Andy and we have crew, different yep. functions and mm -hmm. they they always are stepping up and in, in, in donating food or services. Uh, so they've been been great. Jennifer Sin uh, Jennifer. For uh, credit, it is one of the um, the judges. Okay, um, and um, uh, Ernesto uh, is is with the Concord Monitor. He's one of the judges. So you'll see as you read through the program, it's you know even the talent show shows the support of a wide group of people in our community. Yeah. You know through sponsorship, through every person that's volunteering for this event bought their own ticket. That's awesome. You know, that's awesome. And 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 we want to sell the place out. Yes, that's what we want to do. We want to get as many people involved in this as possible. And, and before aware I forget, uh, ConcordHomeless.org for all the information on the talent show um, and buy a vote is there. Yeah, about our mission, etc. Conquered ConcordHomeless.org. That's perfect. That's beautiful. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Going to be back with more. Uh, it's our segment with the Concord Food Co-op talking about the talent show coming up a week from Saturday night to benefit the Concord Coalition to end homelessness. More coming up on Good Morning New Hampshire. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Yeah, hey, hey. Uh, it's Good Morning New Hampshire here with the Concord Food Co-op. Normally appears on Friday, but we're going to be broadcasting live at the Deerfield Fair tomorrow. So uh, we brought him in a day early. And uh, and that's good because that gives you an extra day to get your tickets to the talent show to help out the Concord Coalition to end homelessness. Uh, Greg is here from the Concord Food Co-op. Um, and uh, tell me a little bit more about the sponsors that we have. Oh, yeah. There's, there's probably, for a first-year event, uh, sponsorship is great to have. Uh, over uh, 40 sponsors. Uh, again, Concord Eye Center is lead sponsor. Dr. Foley, you're Palladium. You're a Palladium, <laughs> Palladium. sponsor. Um, That's pretty S impressive. St. <laughs> Paul's uh, School was Which is uh, awesome. Next. They're a gold sponsor. Yep. Uh, yep. Then um, um, the uh, Keeler uh, Family uh, Realtors. Yep, um, absolutely. Bank of New Hampshire. Bank of New Hampshire. Um, and it's the Bank of New Hampshire stage, and so they were awful that, nice to that was, step in. That was Bank perfect. of New Hampshire is always a big supporter of and us. And they are. They Merrimack are. County uh, Savings Bank also. So a lot. Uh, you know, and so then a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch uh, uh, on all different levels. Now, and one of the things about sponsorship in, in, in helping the nonprofit community, I think it's good for business. I have a, a marketing background, and I just think it's good for business. So it the is Concord good for Food business. Food Co-op, you know, this show is the the uh, the co-op community connections um, it is people support organize they support uh, organizations that support nonprofits right um, and so you know I, I the the Concord Eye Center I, I think this is will be very good for business and I'd like you to take a second just to talk about you have a big operation lots of employees and yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a client and and I'm just so impressed of how many people are there all the time but oh, it thank flows you. very mm. quickly and smoothly well, we try. Uh, we have uh, 16 providers in our practice. Wow. Um, we have uh, 12 MDs and four optometrists. Um, and we, you know, we provide anything from sort of routine care, glasses, contacts for your person that just needs that, mm -hmm. to, uh, to specialty care all along the way. So we have pediatrics. We have oculoplastics. We have cornea specialists that do things like LASIK. We have a retina specialist like me that, that, that deal with things like diabetes and, and other age-related disorders. We have cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. Um, all uh, this very important glau glaucoma. These are yeah, all these, these are all so very. These important. are all specialties of ophthalmology. Yeah, you know, we're, it's a kind of a small region of the body, but we have six or seven separate subspecialties of ophthalmology mm -hmm. all represented in our office. And how so, many employees altogether? You have several locations. It's around 120 or uh -huh. thereabouts. Can you believe that? That's, two, a, yeah. that's a great big small business. Yeah, it, you know, it, it is. We have two offices here in Concord, and um, uh, on a on a very busy day, we might see as many as six or seven hundred patients in Holy cow. across the two campuses with That's all the great. doctors seeing. Uh, but seeing. It, you know what? It's but but it's it's vital. <laughs> it's important. Y you and know, these things do happen as we get as we get on in years. <laughs> we, we, uh, ophthalmology or eye problems in general do tend to gravitate towards older people. Not not exclusively, certainly. Right, but, right, absolutely. But uh, but 
you know, we're an older state in general yeah. in New Hampshire, and so we do we do have a fair number of people that need our, our services. That's right, and I want to be able to do that crossword puzzle. Absolutely, so. absolutely. <laughs> in pen, by the way. And we hope we hope to see you at the talent show October fifth. That's be there. not this Saturday. You will be there. I Great. will be there. Uh, there are quite a few from uh, the Concord Eye Center that will yep. will be attending. Uh, it's it's my understanding. So, uh, and tickets are uh, only a thirty five dollar donation. Again, available at Bank of New Hampshire Stage or Concord uh, Food uh, Concord Co-op. Food Co op, and we yep. can just come in during your normal business hours and. Right. Just we, and we will be able to be helped. Yeah, I wouldn't wait to the last minute. I, 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 I wouldn't I, either. I really suspect there may not be tickets at the door. Okay. So I, I would obtain tickets. I, I wouldn't plan for this great night out and show up at the door and be turned away. I would, right. I would, I would, I would obtain your tickets in, in, in advance. And it is going to be a great night out. It's going to be a great night. I'm That's really good. looking forward to it. Everybody's looking forward to it. All yeah. right. Ben Folsom uh, from the uh, Concord Coalition to End Homelessness. Very exciting. Heading into a week from Saturday. We are we are so excited and and so thankful for Greg and his team who have put this tremendous event together. It's it's going to be fantastic. I know when I told my nine year old daughter, her eyes lit up because yeah. she's a huge America's Got Talent fan. Oh, so, perfect! Uh, well, you're going to so see local she, talent. She's yeah. just uh, she's, that's awesome. She's Dr. Excited. Elliot Foley, thank you, Ben. Thank, thank you, you, Greg. Me. Thank you, thank you, Pat. And Bob. Concord Food Co-op.